Okay, so between this episode and the last episode for you, it's just a day. For me, uh, it has been a few days where I took a step back from playing Crusader Kings 3 and recording. Well, I only play and record, so all I've done in Crusader Kings 3, all 38 hours, you have been part of if you have been following. Now, um, we are looking at after, well, the first series was maybe six or so hours, so we're looking at the first... Uh, real shattering of an empire that we've built. I've said throughout this playthrough that I've never even had an empire this big in Crusader Kings 2. At least I don't seem to remember. Like I've had uh, the whole of England and a lot of Europe to form the Holy Roman Empire in that one series where we go from a little feudal lord over here in Ireland to forming the HRE. Um, so why was it important for me to step back and not just continue recording uh, while I was tired and kind of had other things on my mind in life? Well, because this is going to be a difficult situation now and it's not going to be an enjoyable situation, I think. But we will make the most of it now. <clears throat> and I hope I'm not going to uh, descend into whining all too much. So we have 15 months to try and deal with this. Uh, but it's very unlikely that we can actually do anything here. So, one of the few things that we could try, obviously, is uh, form an alliance. But as you can see, they none of them have anyone for us to marry. So that's very unfortunate. There are too many to create any sort of... Uh, scheme with and this guy is probably our best hope because he likes us the most we could lower our crown authority a little bit but i doubt it would kick out more than one person so he says we don't have an alliance with a powerful clan Vassal. No alliance as powerful clan vassal. I really don't get it. I don't know what that means. We could of course try and sway but we're not of age yet so there's not much we can do. We're really looking at uh, this happening whether we like it or not. You want to give me money for this guy? And this guy, and yourself, obviously. We do not have any grounds to go ahead and imprison anyone. So all we got is a whole bunch of dukes <clears throat> that are part of our dynasty and line. And most of our kings here are going to go to war with us. And it's going to be a mess. It's going to be an absolute mess. We could, of course, just allow it to happen, basically. Well, the ultimatum time went up. What's that? We just finished a whole bunch of buildings. I'm not willing to give them money. Because that would weaken our position and just embolden them. <clears throat> it's very interesting to me, quite honestly, that we are fairly powerful, but we're not nearly powerful enough for what we need to be. Can I find a different spell? So I'm just going to replace her. No, I can't find another spell right now.
nothing we can do. So for now, we're just gonna shore up money and work with a whole lot of mercenaries. It's still a year out, but they will eventually come. It looks like this faction is changing in their composition, but there's also now this faction. And this guy wants the Welsh throne. Do I even have to give that? You want to install Caesarea on the Welsh throne. This I would even grant. Oh no. The king of Bavaria really, really hates our guts. Is he our rival? No, he's angry and he hated our mother. Without our mother, you wouldn't even be here. Like that, anyway. So... Yeah, no. <laughs> this is not gonna happen. Would we'll just jumpstart the rebellion, which we are veering towards. And another faction was created against us. Love it. Okay, so they want to be independent and they want to give Caesarea the Welsh throne. But who exactly is Caesarea anyway? No idea. There are too many Caesareas in this line. Don't think it's one of my sisters. <clears throat> so all we're doing for now is just really watch as the rebellion inches closer and we'll be <coughs> hard pressed. <coughs> Excuse me, hard pressed to find enough mercenaries to offset what we're going to face. I still wish we could filter this for only the people that we can actually get. Nice. <clears throat> oh, okay. I think some of those that would form factions against us are actually facing their own internal struggles. That would weaken them. I like how it can hover over this and now he's highlighted here as well. That's really cool. So we can have a little look around here. Kingdom of Burgundy, Kingdom of Bavaria. They're all in there. The Sacking of Melilla. Melilla. Um, yeah, we will help them rebuild. So his opinion is improving slowly. <laughs> we did grant him a vassal after all. They do have 160% of our military power. They also have 160%. These are just dukes though, look at that. These are all our dukes for some reason. Oh, it's for, for her. It is for her. For this is Arya. Should we give it to her? I can't even. She's a woman, I can't give her that. <clears throat> We could could try finding secrets. Who's the most powerful one here? Burgundy. So we could send him to find secrets. 
Nope. <laughs> he is our spy master. We can't send him against himself. And the others don't really matter all that much. <clears throat> Who are you? And why can't I break this betrothal? That really annoys me. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> okay, that should allow us now, because I think that's why we couldn't form an alliance yet. Get a marriage, because we can only have one. Okay, they don't have anything. <sighs> Let's see, if we can't just... If we can't just get something here. One of these kings. Really, that would be great. Okay, so we have an option here. <clears throat> no option there. Doesn't matter because he's the strongest contributor right after him. However, he's also kind of far away, like he's over here. Let's do it anyway. Let's weaken the faction a little bit. Make it a bit easier for us. Plus she has a good trade, she's comely. She's very young though, but since we have can, since we can have multiple women, <clears throat> that should be fine. So he should be out, weakening this guy, this faction here. Not far enough. Ten gold for, one hundred and fifty gold for that. <clears throat> That's not a lot. Also, we managed to at least... Who are we imprisoning? This lady. So at least we got one of our kings <clears throat> back on our side. That is something. Kingdom of Estonia. An Aquitaine being in its own rebellion might not matter much so if we we have weakened them a little bit not enough to really get rid of it <laughs> but it might just be fine okay you want this guy <clears throat> you can have that guy it's fine Another faction against us. Okay, their discontent is almost at 100%. So we might be facing two factions at the same time. That's... That's not ideal. This guy wants an alliance with us. In a faction? No. <clears throat> sure. Take it. You are in alliance, however. Yeah, let's make him a little bit less prosperous. Yep. They can send an ultimatum at any time now. Would we like to hire mercenaries already? I mean, we don't really know the composition of the enemies. Most of the Viscount. Not available, sadly. The elite quality ones. But we could easily add a good 5,000 or so to our host. Once it becomes necessary. Let's just wait for the faction to actually push. Uh, let me tell you a story about Million. Sure. 
An embarrassment. Okay, we have made a fool of ourselves and this guy doesn't like us anymore. It's not a big deal. Okay, so there is the independence demand. And I will not be threatened. They have 23,000. Which again is probably lucky because um, they already have a whole bunch of armies running around everywhere. <laughs> and we can just rally in peace, more or less. Get our troops together here and then send them to crush them individually. But I think I do want to get a few mercenaries. Just if it means that they can't get them. Because as you can see they already snatched some mercenaries up. So let's get the halfway decent quality ones. So this... This here we want. And... Maybe some pike. Good. So that's a bunch already. Now let's raise all our troops in one space. Let's make sure we have a halfway decent commander, which we do. And then we shall march on the enemy. And we'll fight them individually, hopefully. It's really our only hope. Ah, yeah, we can give out new council positions. So who should we put on their council? Should we go by merit or by importance? Go with this kind of merit and important to mix. Yeah, man at arms maintenance needs to be low right now. Because this will cost us a pretty penny to have all our troops running around. Oh look, they're infighting as well. Oh, very good. We have gained a hook on this man. They have 45,000? We we'll just have to see. They, they will come for our capital, I think. And why will we be beaten? Okay. Let's walk and meet them. And these are hostile. These are also hostile. These are the enemies. And our enemies are fighting each other while the hostiles are fighting each other. Will we catch them? No, we will be stopped by this hostile army. For some reason they walk into us. We're winning all the battles, but they're not the battles we're actually seeking. We could call the Emir in. Totally call the Emir in. We could usurp the uh, great clan of Frankia. Can I? Yeah, but that's the Empire. Definitely don't want to usurp the Empire. And there's two Empires, and Succession is just gonna mess with that. They are going for the capital, obviously. We will need to get them before they get to finish their sieges. But since this is my territory and it's pretty well expanded, we should have a bunch of you know, bonuses, I hope. Okay. I think 
will push for a white piece here. Uh, let's follow this army, or rather go meet this army here. It's very practical that our enemies aren't friends either. Okay, so there's the next rebellion. Let's see if we can be in a defensive position. We lost our... Let's go defend Paris. Alright, okay, so we are coming of age now. We're losing a bunch of money, but we still can create more mercenaries, which we probably should. We are no longer pensive, we are a th insightful thinker, which isn't even great. We're zealous, we're ambitious and just, so it's not too terrible all around. Now we can get more um, vassals, which doesn't really help us. Because everyone is already at war with us. But we could get this comely lady here. Um, we have no lifestyle chosen. Let's go for learning. I mean, it's not... <laughs> and we should go for clergy. So we get money from the church. Potentially, anyway. Will we be able to fight them in places? Yes, we caught one army. And we have destroyed one army. Alright, let's get some more mercenaries. Almost all are bought anyway. These are ours, so we can just extend the contracts. Can't go for a holy order because they are not available right now. I don't want to go meet this army. They would probably destroy us. So I'd rather try and hope for the best in our defensive position. Or maybe we can beat them piecemeal. Very good. Okay, we caught a bit of them. Alright. How much do we need? A bit more. They have troops running, but they're also engaging now. So I have a feeling this is not going to go well because they get reinforcements and we don't. Our knight killed a duke of the enemy. Another one was wounded, wow. So this wasn't predicted to go well for us. But it went really well. Well enough for a white piece? Yes. Very good. So we will definitely do that. I chose this, didn't- oh no. Um... Piety and learning, development growth. Let's go with the theology focus plus one piety. So we can white piece out of the bigger war. That's very good. Stop, pause game. So we can, let's see, there's another faction, let's try and imprison them, them one by one and see what happens, okay, there's this army. Okay, 
So one of them is in prison now. You are a decent marshal, you're not a powerful vassal though. King of Burgundy, he is not going to accept the imprisonment. He might succeed. Let's try. Okay, so we triggered the uh, rebellion once more. But they ran into Bavarian troops up there. We caught the enemy trying to flee. Okay, this will be an utter and complete disastrous mess. I kid you not. This will be terrible. One of our knights was injured. But we are the cultural head again, so that's nice. That's a 5% win. Uh, we should probably also do some sieges. Let's siege some. Maybe we can force one or two enemies to drop out of the race. Are there mercenaries available again for hire? It looks like it is that case. So we will have to re-up in for, for 1100 in a moment. So let's get these guys here. Which hopefully are not being spawned straight into the enemy. Seems to be a whole lot of these uh, crossbowmen. Yeah, let's hire more crossbowmen. Add them to our army. We need some more quality, really. Right. So that's a white piece as well. Not yet, but almost. So once we get... Another siege done, we should be able to white piece out there. Very good. We have a better commander. Oh. Um, pa -pa 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 -pum. Oh, we married her, so we lost her, an alliance internally. Let's see what else we can get. The Duchy of Utrecht. And not inside. Like that, this 10,000 vassal. There's a white piece again. But the army we are marching towards is of our new enemy, our new old enemy. Very good, okay, let's check. This guy already loves us, so he's working for us. You're not doing the thing I want you to do. Gotta spread the culture. You are still doing that. Oh, we can now sway you. This is now an option since we have come of age. Our sister-in-law, the Duchy of Steiermark. Or the Duchy of Luca. Steiermark is part of something, so it's not really helping us. Well, there's a chance of children thing I didn't see yet. I'll have to look into that once we get the next wife. Okay. Chance of children, medium. Okay. Let's get all the women that we can. OK, 
Kingdom of Estonia, Duchy of Savoy. Well, they got entirely and completely routed. I have to fend off these guys sieging something here. I don't think they're actually sieging our stuff, they're sieging enemy stuff. These guys are sieging our stuff, which is uncool. Don't you touch Sancerre? Devil. Okay, so they just kind of waited around there to get together. We'll fight them again. Question is, will we catch them? Um, okay. You want this guy freed? Who are you? So we might try and kill him as he leaves the prison, or we just... Yeah. Let's get to a little bit of opinion here. Trying to sway him anyway. Okay, there we go. We can catch them, at least. That is an entire army just destroyed. And known for our dedication to our faith. Well, we should be. And another army court. And that's a king in our war bonds. There's a new army coming. Oh, court officials. Okay. Patriarch is often... No. The Patriarch often quotes passages from the scriptures and the holy virtues. I should prove that I have paid attention. What are you? You're cynical, ambitious, and paranoid. <sighs> Chastity, maybe? He is pleased about our chastity thing. So this is Ostporon. Ostrosopron. The guy we, for a brief moment, had an alliance with. And then I mucked it all up. With getting new spouses. Let's go by age. That's another battle we won. I saw one with the bunny thing, didn't I? Here. Yeah, let's get her. You are an enemy army. I don't always... can't tell. The reds are just... very similarly. Another battle won, completely destroying the enemy army. Hostile army, not really what we're here for. These guys are enemies, no. No? Who's an enemy? These. These. And we white peace? We could just try and win this one. Let's check the other factions. Red war with them. Crown authority is the next faction. Prison this guy. He might rise up against us, but we will be in more or less perpetual war anyway. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out. We'll turn around immediately. Face that army. 
Very good, a new commander. Oh, lovely. We can use all the knights that we can get. Allowed, not forced. The game has not realized yet the new danger that we are in. New enemy that has arisen. Will it allow me to siege though? Very good. Our first, or well, one of our wives is pregnant. It is actually our first wife. They going to fight? No. Maybe we can catch someone here. Very good. So this is home advantage because this is now in our own holdings. And we have built things to help us here, I think. Okay, cool. So our swaying didn't work out. And we can't do it again anytime soon. Uh, let's extend the mercenary contracts. Losing a good chunk of money. But we currently are quite in need. What would you look at that? We could white piece out of both. But let's see what we can accomplish yet. Could the enemy borders please update? I don't know who to fight anymore. Except for everyone. So I didn't expect this outcome, quite honestly. We had amassed a whole lot of money, so we were pretty decent in shape there. I don't know what is my stuff and what is their stuff. I don't know what to defend and where to fight. I have no idea what I'm looking at. The borders are going completely crazy. Let's white piece out of this one. And I will revoke his title. He will not accept. So we will just go fight him again, but this time it's only him. And then we can get all our duchy titles from him once more. That's okay. That's white piece out of the other one too. Really no good reason to keep it up and we'll just keep up trying to imprison everyone who's annoyed with us. He might fight us, but we'll just have to see if he will. Nope, he was imprisoned. We hold two kings in prison now, I think. Will we catch them? Very good. And he will be named after us. Because we're such a great person. So this is a balanced one. Our knight maimed a man. Our knight wounded a man. Alright, we've beaten this army. Now let's take his lands. Well, our lands, really. What is our culture fascinated with right now? Okay, we got the primogeniture, which we will not be able to enact. <laughs> We are interested in sappers, the royal armory, could go for bombard, standing army, let's just stick with sappers, I like quick sieges, very enjoyable. Uh, 
Let's check our prisoners. You are exempt. You are exempt and you are exempt. All our dukes will be exempt from ransoms. Everyone else will now be mass ransomed. The coffers need replenishing after a long, long period of war. Look at all that money flowing in. That's at least 500 gold by now. It would be more if we ransomed our king. Uh, oh, no, he's sieging up there. That's not cool. So we didn't lose anything, I believe, but Frankia broke apart. Which is pretty good. They are locked in here, meaning we will catch and kill them. And this means we have won. Finally, we can stand on our troops. And your title. Let's revoke this one. Let's go with this one. Can I revoke more titles from you without being viewed as a tyrant? I can. Do we want Clermont or Amiens? I think we want Amiens. It's his own. Oh no, we can't hold it. All right, we, we have strengthened our position a little bit. And we are back to earning some money. Oof. So this was a whole bunch of rebellions that we have to f had to fight. And I don't think it's the end of it either. If we look in our faction window, thankfully we have a bunch of kings that hate us uh, set aside. <laughs> Really? Yes, I know we're not endorsed by our patriarch. Let's go on a pilgrimage. Let's do that. And we will go to Jerusalem with all the money we got from those... Uh, from those ransoms. So our vassals should be able to just kind of go all out now. And take up all the little pieces that are around us. The leftovers of Frankia. Uh, let us get a guide. Being raided down here. Well, our vassals are, ta are taking care of it, so it's all good. All right. Do we have stress? Yes, we have some stress. So let's lose stress rather. I don't even care what the options are. <clears throat> or what they mean in a roleplay perspective. So what can we do here? Impress a bunch of claims, maybe. I think we should just do that. <laughs> Grow the realm now that we are out of the worst of it. Can we get the whole thing? Anyone have the whole thing as a claim? No? We'll have to go for a holy war. Oh, Ulster? Maybe. Let's do that. Uh, do we have a flag to rally up here on the island somewhere? I do not think so. So 
Let's just move it here. I don't even care. And we'll just use the A-team. And our mercenaries, why not? They don't cost us anything anyway. Or do they? Let's check. Does it cost me anything? No, they are basically free. So we can stand down our pike, our armored, our bowman, our light foot. Make it a little bit more affordable. Give them a leader. This guy who doesn't like us. Very good. We become a pilgrim. And I don't think we can do a feast right now. We also don't have to. Known for our dedication to our faith. Lovely stuff. So that one is one. Eilich. Finally we're back home. So now we can probably hold a feast. So let us do that. Also some money. Wife's pregnant. Starting our feast. Who's at our feast? Check. So we got us. We got the king. A duke. A duke. And a bunch of dukes didn't want to come. Uh, household efforts. Yes. Five years, everyone likes us better. Our dear wife deserves all the credit. She has done so well. I wonder why we wear a different crown to our feast. Why would we not display our glory? Um... Let's form a friendship with this guy who is of our dynasty. Still not one, huh? Well, okay. We do hold all the cards, though. Piety gain is really, really low. <laughs> Alright, everyone who was at the feast likes us better for 10 years. That's really, really good. Let's go call a hunt as well. Get all that stress out of the system. We should probably uh, be a bit more careful with, with what we do. We get poachers training. Punished poachers. Yeah, let's, let's get some poachers training. It's the least offensive option. Lots of ransoms available. And we're done with our hunt. We should get a court physician, but we are already doing something. So these are still exempt from mass options. Are you even my vassal? No, you're not my vassal, so I don't really care. This guy is definitely exempt. You stay in prison. You just, you just stay there. Everyone else, we will run some out. He paid zero gold to us. Well, that's a fantastic ransom. Okay, we got our first perk. Clergy, clergy opinion plus 10. Convert faith in county religious relations efficiency. Um, priest opinion plus 50. That's what we need. Church and state. That's where we're going. Okay, we're not gonna extend our mercenary companies this time. We should be fine again. Without them. 
And they have done us a great service. So we hold this down Patrick. Definitely don't want to hold ourselves, so we'll just give it to Antoine Miloni. And... The Duchy of Mun, is that it? No, that's this island here. I chief don't fold so we can usurp it. Shall and we grant it to this guy. Or we grant it to our dynastic boyo. Where is it? There you go. You get that whole thing. Right, the church is not paying us, and we're still earning a good amount of money. That's not bad. Duchy of trans Junior. Had I not created that before? Kingdom of Denmark. That's created. And keep it. The Kingdom of Estonia as well. We can have three empires, but it doesn't really matter. So. I'll do that. Oh. Wait, we can? Because they're all in prison. And thus they approve. Well, hello there. We go for Ultimo Genitour now, which is my most favorite way of having succession. So we can now create all the Empire titles as well. I think. Is the Empire of Francia. And the Empire of Germania. Once we create them. Oh, we already were a celebrity. But we are a living legend, so that's not bad. Having created all those Empire titles. We are now poor again. <laughs> but our heir inherits everything. 31 titles, and we have 25 titles, so he even inherits more than we have. That is very good. Very good indeed. Okay, I did not think we would come out smelling of roses after this. I was fully expecting this to shatter our realm. But it didn't happen in that way. So that's pretty neat. Thanks to all those people being in prison, we even could change our succession law, which is crazy good. Can't go up here, sadly. They would all approve. That's really lovely, I like it. Should we give him a seat on the council? Do we even have a seat on the council we could give him? You are a good diplomat, but there's already someone else in there. Could give him this one. Yeah, let's give him something. The Ostro Sopron Kingdom. Ostro Sopron. I mean, yeah, we've survived. Incredibly. Let's check out Mr. Borigen back here. Oh, you don't look like you're having things under control. Yeah, that doesn't look like Genghis Khan really <laughs> got anywhere. You guys are still kind of weak. So we now have an option to just expand into all our realms. Uh, we should be the rightful... Should be... 
the rightful liege of basically everyone now. This guy, we're not. Not rightful liege, no. Because we don't hold an empire over there. But everyone else should very much know us as their rightful liege now. With the empire titles that we hold. Very good. Very, very, very good indeed. Scotland, what can we do with you? Have these claims up there taking Iceland. That is fantastic. So we basically now have unlimited claims for everything. We should maybe go for male preference here as well. Just set them all same. Check. Okay, I don't see the preference laws here, so I <laughs> just have to deal with it. Okay, um, yeah, that turned out much better than I thought it would. So the Empire of Champagne is once more safe. I thank you all for watching, if you actually did. Um, and I hope to see you around, and we should probably create some alliances again inside, but age-appropriate alliances. Ideally, alliances that are actually inside the Duchy of Provence. That sounds great. That's at home. I know Provence. Provence is somewhere here. <laughs> it exists. It's probably inside of Aquitaine. It's not even ours. Alright, thanks for watching. See you around. Bye-bye.